Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to customize schedules in Impact Reinforcement. So I'm in a blank drawing, uh, you can do this in uh, in any drawing, um, as long as it has our reinforcement object. Um, if I go open the flyout on the MTO section, there's a bunch of commands related to template blocks, which are what give uh, schedules their appearance. So I'm going to start off by inserting template blocks. And these are the uh, different template blocks that we have in this uh, drawing. So you can see that pretty much we have uh, a landscape version and a uh, portrait version. Um, I can re remove the ones that I'm not interested in. Uh, I want to add a logo to this uh, for my company. So what I do is I select this and explode it with, with the AutoCAD explode command. Uh, when I'm here, I can move stuff around uh, and justify them uh, as I want. I can also uh, modify the data uh, on each of these, uh, but that's a different video. So right now I'm just going to show you how to to change stuff. So if I, for example, if I wanted to uh, have a larger text on something here, I would go to properties, uh, change the height to 4, change the justification to right, and just move it into the place that I that I want. Uh, adding a logo, uh, I can just add, draw a, a circle here to represent my company logo uh, and when I'm finished I go back to the MTO flyout uh, click on make template block give this a name select everything and an insertion point the next thing I need to do is I need to create a schedule that uses um, this template block so if I go to the schedules command, uh, I can edit one of these uh, existing ones or create a new one. Under the schedule tab, uh, there's a template block drop down, and here my template block should be available. So I'll change that, click OK, and OK again. And when I print my schedule, I should see my new logo. Um, when you're working with the template blocks uh, it can be good to always also be able to more easily change uh, an existing um, uh, template block. The easiest thing to do that is to um, let me just draw a line from origin of the drawing. I'm going to move my template block there because it needs to be there when I update it. So if I want to make a change here, I do an explode here again. I'll add some more detail to my logo. And now I will go to the update template block command instead. I select all my uh, lines and select which template block to update and click OK. Now I can remove this. And uh, to see the updates here on the schedule, I just need to update it. There we go.